Hello friends, Coach Bob with you, and today we are going to be doing episode two of So You Want to Be a YouTube Star. What do you need? What do you not need? Well, let me get this out of the way real quickly. You don't need a whole lot of money, that's for sure. This right here, this is an exceptional DSLR camera. I've got a ton of lenses that go with it. I will tell you, when I initially started making this channel, I thought this was going to be my primary source. I thought this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to show you how much I use this. That is more than I've done with that camera in the last year right then, just putting it out of the way. I don't use it. I'm not going to say that it's not better. It is better, but it's inconvenient. It's big. It's bulky. It requires me to do a lot more than I'm just honestly that I'm just willing to do. This right here is a GoPro Hero 7 Black. This camera right here is a nice little camera. In fact, the camera that you are looking through right now is a Hero 7 Black, filming in 1080p at 60 frames a second. That's what you're looking at right now. That little camera right there. This is not the newest iteration. There is a Hero 9 Black right now. This is the Hero 8 Black. This camera right here is on sale right now at Costco for $239 with a little package that comes with it. it. comes with a little case and a little holder and a little selfie stick, that kind of thing. If you had that and this media mod case, I'm gonna tell you, you don't need any more than that. Is it nice to have more? Yes, it is. But do you need more? No, you don't. So for $239 plus the case, which I'll put a price right up here for, um, that's really all you need. So it's got, you know, the battery goes in here. In this case, the, the, the camera slides into the case. And you turn it on. You've got a microphone here, a microphone there, and a microphone there. And when you put it in the case, you can select whether you want the front microphone or the back microphone. That really is a nice feature. Also, has a microphone input if you want to use a lavalier or lapel microphone. Now, I am particular about wind noises. I don't like wind noises. They really do irritate me when I'm, when I'm editing and things. However, that's part of the YouTube thing. Hero 8 Black with the media mod case, that's what you need. If you get that right there, I'm telling you, you can do a YouTube channel. And you can do a fine YouTube channel. This thing will film in 4K resolution. I don't do it because of the uh, editing processes, um, dealing with a larger file like that. We'll just say it can bog things down a little bit. So therefore, I like 1080, which is high definition. So you go, all right, so I've got my camera. It comes with a little SD card, the little package I was talking about through Costco. It comes with a little SD card also. Um, so you've got everything you need. So what do I do? The first thing you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to learn how to set the camera up, put it in a super view or a wide view mode. This camera right here is set in a wide view mode so I can scroll in and out and bring it a little closer to me. Uh, however, when you're filming in HD, you can, in your editing software, zoom in on a picture. The closer in you get, the more granular obviously it's going to be, but it is very, very usable, very usable. GoPro Hero 8 Black, Media case, media mod case. Also, something you're going to need, a battery charger. These battery chargers are amazing. Otherwise, you have to plug the camera in, which can be a nuisance. You get these, you have three or four batteries, you buy extra batteries, you plug them in there, the light turns green. I'll put a link. You can notice I have a piece of Velcro on it. That way I can take this into the Can-Am and I can stick it into the back bag and plug this in and I can just charge batteries all day long and that's what I do. So I always have charged batteries. It plugs in via a USB port and that's all there is to it. You can charge up to two batteries at a time that way. That is the GoPro brand. The Hero 8 uses a different battery than the 7. This will work in a 7 but the seven will not work properly in the eight. It won't give you all of the features. So therefore, when you buy an eight, buy some extra batteries, buy a charger. Okay, I've got my camera. What do I need apart from my camera? Do I need to buy a lot of stuff? 
let me show you that. If there is one investment that I would make, if the first thing I would buy when buying a GoPro, because it will come with a helmet mount, those sorts of things, you're gonna need that obviously if you're a moto vlogger, but if you're just vlogging, or if you're riding two up and you have a passenger that can hold the camera here and there, this. It is called a GoPro three-way. So I'm gonna take this screw out here. On the Hero 8, the feet are in the bottom of it, or the, the, the mounting piece is right there in the bottom of the camera. I use this all the time. This little intro that I do, where I go, hello friends, Coach Bob with you, and today, there it is, that's it. That's all there is to it. Walking down the driveway, talking like a lunatic, and all my neighbors think I'm crazy. Get into the garage and start doing a little bit of work. This little bottom piece folds out of here. Flip it around. You can hear it's kind of gritty. It's covered in sand. Can't imagine why. Got a tripod. You can stand it up higher, change angles. You can see it's not real stable. It's not a heavy duty tripod, but it works. This is the GoPro three-way. I have two of these. I broke, I break the legs on these things. And whenever I break the legs, I just buy another one. I absolutely love this. Works as a selfie stick, works as the little short selfie stick as well, and works as a tripod. GoPro three-way is an absolute must for any YouTuber out there. GoPro Hero 8 Black, Media Mod Case, and the GoPro three-way selfie stick. And of course, a battery charger and some extra batteries. So what else is there? What else could you possibly need? Well, I'm glad you asked. I use this a lot. This is a suction cup mount made by GoPro. It's an old one too, by the way. I mount this to the windshield. You've seen it in the, you've seen it in videos when I'm looking out from my helmet camera, looking out. This mounts to the windshield and I'll take another camera. It obviously helps if you have multiple cameras and I do. I have three GoPros, a Nikon DSLR camera, Actually, I have four GoPros, but one of them is uh, is such an early iteration that it just really doesn't matter. I don't use it. It's a it's an heirloom. It's a Hero Two, as a matter of fact. You can't even doesn't even have a preview window on it. <laughs> you just you hope it comes out right. Um, but so I take this suction cup. Obviously, I'll mount my camera to it. Then I'll take that suction cup, mount it to the windshield. I have a camera right here on my helmet, and that's what I'm looking at right? And I cut from camera to camera. So the suction cup, absolutely, absolutely necessary for me. Um, I like this because I don't have to put little sticky points all over the spider. Um, I do have, you can see I've got a little lanyard piece there that clips. Um, I will use a safety lanyard if I feel like I'm compromised in, in where I'm putting the camera, I worry about losing it. And, and you can lose it. It can end up on the highway. Also, if you're filming, you can take this, you can set this on anything, and it's a nice little stable base, and you can use it for multiple angles. So this right here, this little GoPro suction cup, highly recommended, absolutely solid piece. I've used it in many, many ways. I put it on the top of the trailer, pointing up at the spider. I put it on the saddlebags, pointing back at the trailer, pointing up at us. I put it on the windshield, and it is never not one time has it ever failed me. I know it could, but it never has. Now this right here is my GoPro bucket. This I keep all my extra screws. Every time I buy something, it'll come with screws and stuff. I'll keep them, I'll put them in a Ziploc bag. Uh, extra microphone parts where I've broken my Panda microphones. These are just little rubber grommets for mounting things on handlebars. These are the little self-adhesive pieces that mount to a helmet. I have a ton of those. These are buckles. Uh, I use the GoPro buckles. This is the stick that comes with the little kit for the Hero 8 Black that, that comes uh, with the little kit from Costco. It's a little uh, foam handle. It's got the safety lanyard for your wrist so you don't drop it. It also floats if you're in water. Just remember, never use your medium odd case while you're in the water. It's not waterproof with that case. I saved this to show this to you. 
This is why you don't use non-GoPro buckles. There's the little tabs, and there they are, broken off. Now right there, that's a camera in the street. I kept that just for you. We don't need it anymore. There is a fancy little tripod called a Gorilla Pod or a Gorilla Stand. This is the cheap version of it, okay? It has a little piece that screws on the top that makes a mount for a GoPro. And this is a standard size screw for any tripod. Right now, this camera is being held. What I'll do is I'll just do this right here. I'll take this camera, turn it on. Gotta make a fool out of me. Now, the one thing I'm gonna tell you about GoPros, GoPros are cantankerous and when they fail, they fail. And for me, they fail a little too often. Is it a deal breaker for me? It is not. Um, the GoPro product, uh, when comparing it to the, we'll say the GoPro copies, do they work? They work, but they, they're not as, they're not as uh, formidable. They're just not as solid as the GoPro itself. So here is the uh, tripod that I'm using right here. So it's an old tripod. I mean, this thing is really, really old. Um, I can just basically, I can turn the screw. I can pivot the camera. No, I just, I just messed, messed up my view. view. <laughs> That's, That's what, what I, I see when, when I look through this thing. thing. You know, I just, just kind of set, set it up. up. And that's all there is to it. And then this little piece here screws onto the base. That little piece right there screws onto the base. That's it. So a GoPro Hero 8 black with the media case, with a few attachments and a three-way stick, maybe even a little gorilla pod or, or a tripod. You can run a YouTube channel with one camera. You can. And the more you edit, the better you get at it. Next week, we're going to be talking about getting that shot. Having the appearance of movement. The one thing that I've learned through making, and I'm going to call them mini movies, videos, whatever you want to call them. The one thing I've learned is that the human mind, as things are moving, when you're walking from one point to another, Cuts have to be made in those things in order to keep the human mind occupied. But you're not really seeing what you think you're seeing. Although I will tell you, Coach Vic and I are very real. And what you see in our behavior is very indicative of how we are in our everyday life. But there is something that happens when you're in front of a camera, as you know. Uh, when you look on social media and those things, you see people smiling in a certain way. You go, man, their life looks like it's perfect. It looks like it's wonderful and you know that their life isn't perfect. The camera portrays you. I, I could take a camera and follow you around for a week. And if every time you bumped your toe or you put a key in the ignition in the car didn't crank or you hit your finger with a hammer or you spilled your coffee, I could take those negative moments in your life and only show those and the world will think you're a hateful negative person. Or I could take just the happy, beautiful moments, compile them, and people will think you're the most positive human in the world. I could take the most negative person and the most positive person and make you believe they are opposites. So understand, there is a lot going on when you start talking about filmmaking. It really is cool, and I really do love doing it. Um, there is a lot more to it than I realized. I'm not going to tell you that I'm sitting around uh, reading books on ISO and, you know, light diffusion and all that. I I've read some of that. Um, but I really take the Barney Rubble approach to filmmaking. Now, when I watch videos, I watch them on a big screen TV or on my iMac. So the, what I see, um, I want it to look good on this. If it looks good on this, it will absolutely look good on this. The battle that most people have is with lighting and with sound, not with the pictures. So hopefully this helped you a little bit and is giving you an idea of what it actually costs. It doesn't have to cost an arm and a leg. Once you get going, you wait for that sale, right? 
you pick up another hero and another hero and another hero, and you end up with three or four cameras. And then you want you try another mount. Well, you don't really like it, but it's helpful. And so you, you end up with a lot of mounts. There are a lot of microphones. There are Rode microphones, Shure microphones. Uh, there, there, there are all kinds of phantom power, non-phantom power, or you know, all of that stuff. When you start getting into the audio world and into the lighting world, you can complicate things really fast. I prefer the simple approach. And as a YouTuber, someone who has to just go out, when I'm riding a motorcycle, I don't know if it's going to rain. I don't know if I'm going to drop that camera. I don't know if I'm going to fall down, stepping over the side of a, of a ditch and fall down and, and, and everything goes slamming to the ground. I have dropped cameras a lot. And if you look at my cameras, um, there are small hairline scratches and cracks and this and that. There are things going on with them, but they work. They still work. So understand that that's another reason why I don't like using the big DSLR camera. And when Coach Vic and I travel across country, I carry three cameras. I normally, when we're doing long trips, I use one camera at a time. I'll have one that I use for what you see when we ride, and one for what you see as we do our monologue daily as we're talking at the gas stops and that sort of thing. At the end of the day, I'll compile all of that footage. I will have hours. I would probably have two to three hours of footage. You're cutting all that down. You're ending up with 30 minutes. So you can see there's a lot of cutting going on. We'll talk about all that in another episode. Now you have it. Cameras and gadgets. Will a microphone help you? Talked about the microphone you'd need on a vlogging helmet. Get two of them. One you can use when you're sitting in your office or doing a vlog and you can just plug it in the back. You can use that, hook it onto your collar, keep one in a helmet. That way you're not connecting and disconnecting and moving around. Right now, I broke one and I've got one in my helmet. So you're hearing the microphone on the camera. So there you have it. Episode two of You Want to Be a YouTube Star. You too can do it. Next time, we're going to talk about getting that perfect camera angle. How to create that movement. How do you make it look like you're walking out the door without just walking out the door? And we'll be talking about that a lot more on the next episode. So until then, I want you to do me a favor. Go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you are doing it wrong. We'll talk to you next time.